This is Cameron Humphreys with Humphreys Outdoor Power, and today we are going to take a look at two of the best machines you can buy. I'm talking about diesel zero turn lawnmower, specifically the Kubota ZD1211 and the ZD1611. We're going to talk about what they have in common, what the differences are, and why you should think about one as your next lawnmower. Let's dive in. So we're gonna start here on this ZD1211. I think the best place to start is what these units have in common, because that list is a lot longer than what they have differently. So the ZD1211 has a 24.8 horsepower diesel engine. That's a Kubota three-cylinder diesel. It's one of the reasons why Kubota kind of owns the diesel market, because they're using their engine and their transmission on this machine and it really is more like a tractor which is obviously what they're known for. The ZD1211 comes with a 60 inch deck and a 72 inch deck. You can get rear discharges in both. We're not huge fans of the rear discharge. We can make an entire video on why. Uh, they certainly have their place in the lineup but we almost always prefer a side discharge. With both units you're going to find that you have hydraulic lift for the machine. So the way this works is you set your dial right here and then you can raise and lower it hydraulically with these two pedals. So we'll turn it on. So that raised the deck up. If I hit the other pedal, it'll raise the deck down. And then right here I can set my height from anywhere from one to five inches. So usually we have it set at three, we go down, we're set at three inches. That's always a cool feature because you don't have to worry about kicking or lifting a deck. It's all hydraulically done for you. One of the cool things about the ZD1211 and one of the differences as we'll see with the 1611 is going to be the seat. So this guy has a spring loaded suspension seat. It's completely adjustable. It's heavy duty. It's got lumbar support. You can even recline a little bit. It makes for a very nice ride. That combined with the weight on this machine, the weight's around 1700 pounds or so the weight of this thing will keep it from bouncing. Now there are some negatives to that if you're in really wet, kind of marshy grass, that weight can become a bit of a problem, but we find that for most people in most situations, the weight's really not an issue. In fact, like I said, it'll make that ride a little bit better. While we're talking about the ride, we need to mention the front axle. You can set that front axle so that it'll actually pivot while you're driving, or you can make it rigid. Most of the time when we sell them, we have it so that it's pivoting, again, to help with the ride. Another really cool feature of that front axle is that it actually lifts itself up as a jack stand for maintenance so you can get under the deck. This whole front portion pulls up and we can see here we can set our pins to make that a solid rigid axle or as it's set right now, it'll be free floating. But this also acts as a jack so we can pull this out pull these pins and we can crank this and it will make the axle pivot so we can then get underneath the deck for maintenance. All right, so we're gonna show you how to jack up the front end of uh, these ZDs. Both of them are the same, the 1211 and the 1611. We're gonna do it on the seven or the uh, 1211 here. Uh, but first, we just need to pop this up. We've got two pins here. We'll pull both of these. set those down for later. Uh, you do need to make sure that your tires are perpendicular to the machine, so not straight forward like they typically would be. Easiest way to do that is just to give them a couple kicks uh, so that they're going that direction because the whole axle is gonna pivot on this tire. So we need to make sure it's going in the right direction to help us out so we're not trying to fight that while we go. So this is the handle. We throw it out here off to the side. And I'm just gonna start cranking it up here. Again, this is a great feature if you don't have a chain hoist or another tractor with a loader where you can just pick the front end of this guy up. It's also very, very safe. Uh, I'll show you. Once we get this up, we can use those pins that we took out to lock that front axle back down. 
or rather up, uh, so it can't come back down, keeping the machine up where it needs to be while we're under it. So that is something we definitely want to do anytime you're crawling under a machine like this, 1,700 pounds, it's not going to care whether you're under it or not. If it starts falling, it's just going to fall. So always try to use safety jacks, things like that. But the good news is with this particular machine, we've got this here. With this particular machine, uh, we have these pins. So we're just going to shove it back in that hole. Make sure we got that. This is an important part here. We can shove this. This is the pin we took out. Shove it back in that hole. We can even lock it down some of these hairpins just to make sure it's not going anywhere. Uh, so now that's not going to come back down on us while we're under it. So now we're perfectly safe. Still, if you feel uncomfortable, you can still get some jack stands just to make sure. Uh, but obviously we still have that. So now we can get under this guy. We can clean the deck out, take the blades off. We can sharpen them, change them, whatever maintenance we have to do. Uh, it's one of the coolest features on the ZDs that kind of set them apart from everything else. Again, this is on the 1611 as well as the 1211. Hope this helped. While we're talking about the deck, this is a ACS cutting system, which stands for Aerodynamic Cutting System. Basically what they've done is they've designed it aerodynamically to kick grass out this chute faster and more efficiently so that it takes less horsepower. The reason for this is because with the EPA regulation on needing to have a particulate filter at 26 and a half horsepower or above, which we'll get into a little bit more when we look at the ZD1611, they had to come up with a way to be able to run a 72 inch deck efficiently with a smaller horsepower engine. So this 24.8 is running both the 60 and 72. Now, personally, I was skeptical whenever this came out. We used to sell some ZD323s uh, and with even the 60 inch deck, those were 23 horsepower with a 60 inch deck uh, in heavy wet grass, we'd sometimes see it bogged down a little bit. But what I've noticed with this, with the 72 and that new design on the deck to get that material out faster so that we're creating less resistance on the engine, uh, it's working like a dream. Even heavy wet grass, for the most part, we're able to kick out and uh, put a really good mode job on. So that, that ACS, that aerodynamic cutting system is something that is really cool and uh, it wasn't just a marketing ploy, it really works. All right, while we're down here on the floor pan, you can get a closer look at some of those pedals, but also we've got access to this awesome access hatch, uh, which gets us down to the deck. Uh, so we can blow that out with a blower after we're done mowing, get all that material out of there to keep this thing running good. And then it also gives us access to our gearbox so we can check the oil there. One of the other things that sets this ZD series apart from a lot of the competition is the fact that we're actually running a gearbox. Now, again, this will be true of both the ZD1611 and the 1211, but we've actually got a uh, PTO shaft running into a gearbox. This is eliminating the need for another belt. It's solidifying everything in there. Again, we're basically running it like we would a tractor. Uh, on the inside, we do have one belt that's actually running the deck that's attached to that gearbox. It's a dual belt. I've seen these things last forever. Uh, while we're down here, if you had an old ZD, you knew that these fuel filters were hard to get to. Uh, with the new ZD1211 series, they've moved that to where it's a lot easier to get to now. Uh, so that's really great. While we're talking about fuel, it does have two fuel tanks that equal out to 13 gallons of fuel capacity. Again, that will be the same on both the 1611 and the 1211. We're not going to spend a lot of time with this engine. It's a tried and true three cylinder Kubota diesel, which has been the envy of the diesel world for a very long time. It's the reason why all of the tractors and RTVs have garnered the reputation they have. Uh, very much a bulletproof engine, uh, but we are looking at it here. Uh, just a maintenance tip for everybody. If you do buy one of these, your radiator screens right here. We find that a lot of people kind of forget to change that. It's very easy to change. They've got easy access. Uh, we want to check our radiator fluid. We've got our coolant right here. And then we've got easy access to anything that we would typically work on. So air filter, um, 
the oil filter down here. Uh, again, they, they make it very, very easy uh, and accessible to work on anything and maintain your equipment. One of the reasons why they last forever is because they're so easy to maintain. So not all of it is just that it's awesome build quality, but they also make it easy for you, the customer, to take good care of your equipment. One thing while we're looking here, uh, I just wanted to get a real quick look at this engine because the next one we're going to is going to be different. So again, this is just our basic 24.8 horsepower, three cylinder diesel from Kubota. So this has been kind of a quick overview of the ZD1211. We went over all the things that have made the ZD series in general the most popular diesel series on the market, uh, both for commercial cutters and for residential owners who want comfortable ride, reliable product. Again, going with that diesel engine is gonna last forever. You got plenty of torque with that ACS cutting system. Uh, you can go 60 or 72 uh, without giving up, feeling like you're giving up anything. You know, it'll cut through that tall, heavy, wet grass uh, like it's not there. But what we really wanna do is compare it to the brand new 1611. So there are a few things that the 1611 does differently and uh, we're gonna dive into those next. So when you first look at the ZD 1611, the first thing you're gonna notice is how much bigger the booty is on this thing. It's got a huge hood, it's got a lot more space in the back. And this is gonna be the crux of what's different between it and the ZD 1211. So we've got a 30.8 diesel engine in here. It's got a turbo on it, which is going to help us achieve that 30.8. But when we pop this open, uh, the turbo's on this side. We'll try to get a vid uh, image of that in a second. But what you're gonna notice back here is this DPF system. So again, with any diesel engine, once you cross over that 26 and a half horsepower line, uh, you have to have a particulate filter on it. So that's what this has. Uh, it does not use DEF fluid. It uses the diesel uh, fuel that you've already got and it'll go through a burn cycle. Typically this will happen while you're mowing uh, because our engine RPMs are gonna be high enough. Uh, you're probably gonna start to smell, a little smell of the engine will heat up, burn that down and then you'll be on your way largely without any input from you whatsoever. Uh, there are the typical controls where you can cancel it or you can do a parked region if you need to. I think it is important to say that this engine has been redesigned from the ZD1511. Uh, the 1511 had some known issues. Uh, it wasn't always regening right. Kubota, back in the day, they took an existing engine and kind of tried to retrofit it uh, to make the particulate system work. And quite frankly, it didn't work very well. But with this, they've introduced a common rail injection engine on this. The whole particulate system is communicating with the injectors. Uh, so it's really eliminated all of the problems with the ZD1511. So where we had issues there, Kubota heard the feedback and they redesigned an engine uh, that was specifically designed to be able to handle this particulate filter. So uh, don't have any fear selling this thing. Uh, I'd like to get a few out there. This is actually the first unit we've gotten, we've received from Kubota. Um, so we're excited to get it out there and excited to uh, give it a shot. But so far, man, the horsepower on this thing, you can feel it even just driving around here. It is significantly beefier than the ZD1211 and you can feel that just driving around. Sitting on the lawnmower, it's gonna be very, very similar to the 1211. Now, we do have an upgraded seat. So this is an air ride seat where the 1211 is just a very, very nice suspension seat. So we can dial this thing in, we can give ourselves more or less air cushioning underneath us. This thing's gonna have a very good ride. Now, similarly to the weight on that guy, this guy's gonna come in at a whopping 2,100 pounds. So where that one weighed a lot and it was good in some cases and bad in some others, this is gonna be just more of the same. In most applications where you're completely dry, this weight's gonna help keep your bouncing to a minimum and uh, keep your mode job looking really crisp and clean. Now, if you do get into those wet spots, you've got even more weight to get you stuck. So just be careful with that. We do on the front axle have two toe straps, so it is pretty easy to get out. Our dashes are basically the same. You will notice, however, we do have the DPF particulate filters 
uh, all the controls for that as well. So again, most of the time when you're running this thing, it's gonna kind of do its thing and you won't have to worry about it, but it is a little bit different there. One of the other big differences is that the ZD1611 uh, offers a 60 inch rear discharge, 72 inch rear discharge, and then the one I'm sitting on, which is a 72 inch side discharge, they don't have a 60 inch uh, side discharge at the moment. But again, if you're looking for a 60 inch, I wouldn't look any further than the ZD1211 anyway. Um, so like I said, these two units have more common features than they have differences. Uh, we went over the 1211, everything that made that great. The 1611 has all of those features and more horsepower and uh, air ride suspension seat. That's basically the difference. These machines are very, very good if you've got a lot of property to mow. They're also very good for commercial cutters. Uh, primarily, we sell them uh, to residential folks who've got you know 10 plus acres that they're mowing or less sometimes, and they just want the most comfortable ride out there. They want reliability. Uh, they want that diesel engine. Um, man, they, we've been selling ZDs for a very, very, very long time. They've always had their niche in the marketplace. They've always been number one um, in the diesel market, and there's a great reason for that. These two mowers are no exception. So make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed this content. Leave us a comment below if you have any questions about either one of these two or if you have any other ideas for future videos. You help us come up with some ideas and we'll make the videos that help you out. So don't forget to subscribe and uh, you have a wonderful day.